Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and Apple is on fire fixing issues and squashing bugs with iOS 13. Now you may remember last week we saw iOS 13.1.1 to address a few issues and this week Apple releases iOS 13.1.2. Apple continues to try to make the iOS 13 experience on all devices that support iOS 13 the best possible. This software of course brings a few improvements and bug fixes which we'll go over here in a few seconds. Everyone that's running iOS 13 can update right now. I'm very happy that Apple is just pushing all of these bug fixes back to back. This just shows that Apple is trying to make iOS 13 the best release till date. The latest build number for iOS 13.1.2 is 17A860. That's going to be the latest build number. And as I mentioned, this brings a few fixes to a few bugs and addresses a few issues. Starting with the iCloud, when you go to iCloud and you try to back up manually, according to Apple, this will stick on your device. So now that has been fixed, a minor fix to the iCloud back backup section so if we go to backup here and we go to backup manually this progress bar here would stick so it looks like Apple has fixed that even even when the software has completed its backup it would stay there so users would be confused and I guess Apple decided to fix that so no one is confused from here on out when the backup is completed it'll go away now there's also fixes to the actual cameras of the iPhone including some that may cause the cameras not to work properly and the flash on the new iPhones as well so Apple is definitely definitely addressing the cameras here with 13.1.2. Another important fix, this one's very important. This fixes a bug that could cause loss of data, the display calibration data. So if your iPhone's display just feels off when you go to scroll, when you're using the software, this actually makes everything calibrated and it should fix this issue. Now there's also some fixes to Siri shortcuts, which in some cases, some Siri shortcuts will not work on the HomePod or run properly from the HomePod. It also addresses an issue, this one I've encountered myself, where some Bluetooth devices will be disconnected especially within cars so if you're having Bluetooth issues it looks like iOS 13.1.2 will also address some of these Bluetooth issues as well so again Apple just continues to squash bugs to make iOS 13 the best experience so far for any iOS version released till date I'm very very happy to see that Apple continues to improve upon this software again you guys can update right now you can expect my follow-up video here in the next couple of days to talk about the battery the performance and anything else that I may come across after using the software offer after several days as I usually like to do. Thank you for watching this quick update on iOS 13.1.2 and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.